With how big Roblox is, making mistakes is inevitable, and Roblox wishes you forget about them. So, so let's talk about it. So just over a year ago, Roblox deleted over 5 million accounts. You might have not heard about it because it was Chinese Roblox, which was called Laobo. Lubu? They have a lot of restrictions, so it just had to be completely separate from the Roblox that we all know. Look at that, that's pretty cool. I like seeing the characters in their name. But yeah, Roblox pretty much scrapped Chinese Roblox. Um, there's not really a for sure reason why, but uh, all the accounts are gone. All their accounts say account forgotten. I can't find like the other accounts anymore for some reason. But yeah, all their usernames got wiped. Account forgotten. How sad is that? All your memories, all your friends just wiped clean. Um, I mean, he looks like he's happy. Okay, I found this article about how Roblox shut down the Chinese version, and there's this quote I wanted to read. Chinese regulators compared video games to spiritual <laughs> and began limiting kids' screen time to just three hours per week, and they had a curfew when they could play the games. That's so depressing. I can't imagine that. They can't play between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m.? See, that wouldn't work for me. I, I, I have a terrible sleep schedule. It's like 1 a.m. when I'm filming this. So obviously China has really, really strict regulations. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of sad. They also can't show blood, violence, death, anything like that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna see if I can look it up. I don't think there's really any games we could play. I think there's only like the events that they had, sadly. Oh, there's 35 people in this one. Um, oh my gosh, what's going on? We got a little club. Hey, 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 hey. But yeah, we can only see like the little vent that they had for it, sadly. It's uh, pretty much wiped out, clean, gone, forgotten. They don't want us to know about this. Okay, why am I running still? What the heck? Ooh, they're doing some terrible dancing, actually. Um, any other ones we can look at? I think this game as well, too. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming that Roblox pretty much has scrapped the whole project of Chinese Roblox because it was just too difficult to keep up. They have too many regulations, too many things to... I don't even think it was worth it. They, I don't think they could make any money, really, out of it for how strict it was. Like, what? They could only play, like, a few hours a week. So, um... They'll never get to experience this wonderful game of Roblox. This event sucks. I'm gonna leave. It's just kind of interesting how there's like a bunch of like Chinese versions of like popular apps, such as YouTube as well. So I'm pretty sure this is like the Chinese YouTube. I only know about this because I've seen my videos got re-uploaded on it. Yeah, someone re-uploaded all my videos to Chinese YouTube and um, videos that I have deleted off my channel. I guess China has my digital footprint. Interesting, but um, let's see, can we click on it? Sorry, according to the request of the copyright owner, this film is not available in your area. I am the copyright owner. Your post is prohibited by the creator's permission. <laughs> all these accounts will be forever forgotten. Anyways, okay, another thing I want to talk about that a lot of you guys might already know is Meep City and them removing the parties. And if you're old enough, you probably remember that the parties had some really disgusting stuff on it. Stuff that could get me demonetized. <laughs> this game attracts like such the same type of people. They're just like the same brand. Okay, Meep City. Yeah, I made a video about like the Meep City parties like over two years ago almost. I didn't really show any of the really bad stuff, but just know there was way worse. Like, so much worse that would actually make you want to peel out your eyeballs. This was like a huge controversy. The parties in Meep Cities was such a big deal. This one YouTuber called uh, Green Lego Cats 123 he hated Meep City with such a passion. He advocated for the downfall of it, which is good. Let's see, how many videos did he make? 1, 2, 3, at least 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh my gosh, he made so many videos. Green Lego Cats is a big advocator for the downfall of Meep City, which is okay. It was one year ago that Salvation was brought down upon the Roblox community to the remarkable sound of thunderous joy. Oh my god. The party's part of Meep City went on for about like five years or so, which is pretty crazy. It was really popular. Yeah. Go to June 30th, 2015. Well, what the? Okay. But anyways, now it's deleted and all there's left is just flowers to remember what used to be there. Uh, I, th I think Meep City is still just a terrible game. I mean, what's going on over here? A. I mean, terrible people are still going to play the game. They just learned to go into, I think, the school. Let me just... How many people are even playing this? 
3,000? Wow. I guess it is 1 a.m. I don't know, Meep City was supposed to be like this wholesome, family-friendly, cute little game, but it turned into like this weird e-dating emo game. I don't know. Why are you dressed like that? That looks- that guy looks the hottest here. Don't run away? Oh, he's an old man. Okay. <laughs> And you know what else is not a good look for them? Roblox getting sued for not being safe, apparently. Uh, ironically, this was a class action lawsuit has been filed against Roblox, highlighting the safety of users. Specifically, Roblox tells parents, if your child is under 13, we make it extremely difficult for strangers on Roblox to contact them. That is untrue. This is insane. Um, Roblox keeps getting sued left and right. And ironically, the person to bring this to light is Ruben Sim, who, if you guys don't remember, I think Roblox sued him for multiple reasons. I'm not too sure what came out of that, actually. There was also another class action lawsuit coming about about child gambling. It was more specifically about like those weird like roblox flipping sites i wonder if he has to like appear in court wasn't there like a photo of creecraft in court okay i'm sorry i'm <laughs> they're using creecraft's they're using creecraft's um tweet in court i see a lot of these kind of websites being advertised i i constantly get emails being like promote our gambling website using crypto anything that involves crypto is a scam there was also a class action lawsuit that made it so you were able to get a refund on stuff that got deleted. This is why you can get messages now with, uh, Roblox back. Yay. Anyways, yeah, Roblox getting sued. There's also another thing I really want to talk about is the UGC items on Roblox. Surprisingly, I've never talked about it before because it all feels like white noise in my ears. Like, oh my gosh, someone's uploading something bad. There's just, there's just so much. So yeah, I don't know if you've seen like the UGC catalog recently. There's no moderation on it. This is from a popular web series, Digital Circus and all the characters. Okay, I guess that's fine. Freddy Fazbear and Spider-Man. What do they call it? I don't know how this is legal, but I guess that's a thing. They do not own the rights to Hello Kitty. Kawaii Evil Kitty King of the Night. That's Karomi. I gotta buy that. It's actually kind of cute. And also, if you want to buy like limiteds off of Roblox, you can, but just like in pieces. I'm finding these so easily too. I got, I got Roblox limiteds, guys, for pretty much free. I mean, like what? I feel like this is like the time of Roblox where anything goes. You can do anything you want and I like it. I think this is great. Um, it probably get deleted soon. Okay, let's see how fast we can do this with the- uh, Oh, I already found found it never mind i was gonna say let's see how fast we can find an item that shouldn't be on here yeah everything anything goes right now anything goes anyways i wonder what else roblox wants us to forget 